Hello and welcome back. My name is Patrick Kagi. I am a frequency coach, which means I help people release their deepest energetic blocks so that they can come into alignment and start living a life that they were meant to live. Today, I really wanted to talk about a very interesting topic that not necessarily a lot of you have gotten to um, this point in terms of your awakening journey or your healing journey. But as you awaken to higher and higher levels, you will come across this point and it gets really trippy um, and it can be very destabilizing and a little bit disorienting. And I feel like the energies right now in the universe, this planet, it's it, they're really amping up because there's a lot of shifts happening in consciousness behind the scenes, whether you're aware of it or not. This can maybe sometimes even lead um, you to having some mood swings or feeling like um, more emotionally insecure at times and, um, you know, being a little bit more anxious or fearful or whatever it is. It's because a lot of things are shifting in consciousness or the consciousness is elevating and it's forcing you to elevate too. So I've been having more and more of these downloads lately. People always talk about the matrix. We live in the matrix. Well, what does that even really mean? Or what does that feel like? Or what, it, like, what is that knowledge? Like, how do you even tap into that knowledge that we are living in a matrix? So more and more um, these days, I am seeing, I guess, through the matrix, you can say, that's not to say that I'm particularly special or anything like that. I've just reached a certain level of consciousness in which I can actually um, start to perceive these things. And some of you guys might even be perceiving, whether on a conscious intellectual level or not, um, this feeling. So you're going to get to a point on your awakening journey or like, you know, um, your spiritual journey, when you're raising your level of consciousness, you're raising your vibration where you're really, where you're literally going to feel like you are living in a matrix or a game or a simulation. It's going to feel like as though you have the perspective of, let's say the video game player and the avatar in the video game at the same time. Like you're, be, you're able to see the bigger scope of everything that you are creating, let's say, um, not at a conscious level, in your experience as a human being, and then also your human being experience. So you're going to kind of like see both perspectives at the same time. And that can be kind of disorienting, at least for me, it's a little disorienting at times because, you know, we've been grown up by culture, by our parents, by society, all of this stuff that we have a lot less control, basically that we just do not have the creatorship or the level of creatorship that we actually do in our lives. And then you get to this understanding or this aha moment. And um, it's this aha moment that's actually a little bit destabilizing at times where, and this is a, at a deep knowing level. This is not at an intellectual level. So I'm, I'm telling it to you on an intellectual level, but I am also transmitting the frequencies of the knowledge. You guys might actually start to experience this aha moment within yourselves, okay? So even after you uh, watch this, you might go, oh, wait, I'm starting to see through the matrix as well. So this is a deep knowing that every challenge that you face in life, right, to getting the things that you want, you created. You created that challenge. You actually created that resistance, not at a human level, right? I'm not even saying at a human level, you did not do this at a conscious level at all. So you may be like, no, I didn't create the abuse or I didn't create this horrible, unfortunate thing happening. No, you didn't. Not at a conscious human level, but at a much, much higher creatorship level, you did. And you did that actually because you wanted to experience this human form and all of the density that comes with it. Because here's the thing, if you knew how powerful you really are as actually part of the creator of this entire existence, it wouldn't really quite be as fun, right? Because you're then taken away from the human experience of the density, you know, all the emotional ups and downs and everything like that. That's why we came here so that we can actually experience some of those highs and lows, some of that resistance, the emotions that humans experience, right? The love frequency that you're able to experience being embodied as a human, correct? So we actually wanted to forget. We wanted that amnesic type of um, uh, experience so that we can enjoy the humanness. So then we create certain kinds of resistance and let's say obstacles or whatever at a much, much, much higher level. This is completely beyond subconscious guys, but we created it so that we could literally go through 
the journey of the human experience. So people talk about the hero's journey. Why do movies resonate with us so much? Why do good movies, good, good movies with those like ups and downs and then, you know, and, um, and then people like come to the realization that they're so powerful and, you know, they come to that surrender moment and then they get everything they want or whatever it is. Why does that resonate so much? It's because it, it, it's literally kind of parallel to what at a deeper level we actually set up for ourselves as humans to experience. We wanted to be able to experience the highs and the lows, right? Because the highs feel amazing, right? The lows um, need to be there in order to uh, for us to understand how amazing those highs are. So I sort of talked about this in one of my other videos, but that means that every challenge, every obstacle, every mean person, okay, every criticism, is just your own doubt, is your own self-worth, is your own fear reflecting back to you. Now, it is not meant to make you shy away from um, progressing. It is not meant to make you shy away from being able to attain the things that you want. No, it's not there to stop you. It's actually there so that you can lean into the illusion of those things even further that you actually at a deeper level created for yourself to overcome. And as you lean into that resistance, right, you see through the illusion of it. Okay. You see through the illusion of the resistance that you had at a deeper level created. And therefore, once you break through that illusion, guess what happens? You come more in connection with who you actually are, which is a powerful creator of your life. And then it gets kind of trippy because once you realize this at a deeper level, it's a knowing, it's not something that you realize in an intellectual level. But once you actually understand this at a really, really deep level that you are and you always have been your own resistance, your own obstacle in life, you can actually start to let go of those, that resistance. But what people don't understand is that, you know, we all think, oh, I want to let go of all my resistance so I get everything I want right away. Yes, but also actually not really, because there actually is this fear. <laughs> There's this strange fear over actually knowing how powerful we actually are. Um, and so I've experienced this when I've been having these like downloads or I have these, um, realizations or I have these knowings at a deeper level. And the fear is, oh my gosh, if I created all of this, I created the whole experience, then what is the point? Some of you guys might get that. Well, like few of you guys might get that. Most of you guys won't actually understand that. Um, but it's like, what is, what is the point of this? Right? Because I, if I created all of this, then like, you know, is it real? Like how quote real is it? And that's something that I've had to go through um, as I start to kind of see through more and more of this matrix. So actually guys, you might think I don't want any obstacles to getting what I want. When I actually tap into that myself, I'm like, actually, I would like, actually give me a few obstacles, right? Give me a few obstacles so that I can still operate in this humanness and appreciate the humanness, right? Because it would be kind of trippy if we all knew how powerful we truly are. Um, because then, you know, we might end up having some existential crises. I also am really curious as I'm sharing this with you guys, um, how many of you understand what I'm talking about? How many of you like like physic on a physical level, you actually feel the knowledge that I am talking about. You've experienced it yourself. I am super curious. That's kind of why I'm putting this out there because I'm so curious how many other of you guys who are connected to me on social media and so forth can actually relate to this knowing and like, what was your reaction to it? Right. Were you like, Oh my God, this is incredible. Whoa. I'm seeing through the matrix and like, I'm the creator and this is amazing. And yeah, I, I want to get rid of all the resistance. Or how many of you guys were like actually a little bit freaked out by it? Cause you're like, whoa, like strangely, like we all have too much power that um, takes us away from our humanness and actually is a little bit disorienting. Cause it's like, why did I do this? Why did I create all this resistance? Why did I create these challenges? But if you are on your awakening journey or your spiritual journey and you continue to accelerate, 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 ascend, 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 you're going to get to this point, right? You're going to get to this knowing 
Um, and I, I will say that in the next, you know, three to five years or so, as everything starts to really accelerate in consciousness and a lot of things are going to be changing in the world, um, you are going to likely, um, ha- like be presented with this knowing, especially if you're on the spiritual journey, right. And it could be a little bit destabilizing or a little disorienting. And so I almost am putting this out there, a, to like gauge how many of you guys can relate to this knowledge. Um, and then B, um, almost to like prepare some of you guys when you're going to kind of be hit with this knowledge, um, in the coming years and you're going to go, Whoa, mind blown. So I do want you to think about this, right? If we're creating our own resistance and again, not at a conscious level. So, um, you know, you're not necessarily going to get the answers at a conscious level, but it is an interesting exercise, right? If we create all of our own resistance, What resistance am I creating that I am being asked to overcome or process through so that I can get that quote happily ever after, or I can get um, to the destination of that journey that I signed up for? Like if you were the person to have created that resistance, what would be your story arc? If someone created a movie about your life through all of your challenges, all of your hardships, all of the things that you've had to face, right? What is that story arc? And then at the end of that story arc, what did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about yourself? What, what like aha moments did you have, right? Was it like, oh my gosh, I'm so much more powerful than I thought. Oh my gosh, I actually really really can open up my heart and it's the most beautiful experience that I never thought that I could actually experience? Or is it, oh my gosh, I actually am worthy of being able to impact people, being able to lead my life. What would your story be? I might even like as an exercise, write that down and go, okay, so if I really scripted out my life with all of the stuff that I have gone through, what would that story arc be? And then where would it take me into like, what version of myself would it take me to? And then what huge aha realization moments would it lead me to within myself? Who would I become? What lessons would I have learned? And here's another bonus thing. What during that journey would I have had to surrender? Okay. Whether that is certain kind of relationships, certain way you look at yourself when it comes to career or success or abundance, or, um, you know, the way that you deal with family or the way that you are in your community, whatever it is, like, what would you actually have to surrender and let go and leave behind that is in your current reality that would then at the end of your journey, not be there because you've outgrown it because you've gotten through the obstacles and challenges that made you think that you needed to hold on to those things that weren't necessarily serving you. So I really want you to think about this because it's a really interesting exercise. And another thing um, that you can start chewing on as well is I talked about this, how everything is a mirror, right? We live in a mirrored reality. Every single person who comes into your reality, even the guy, you know, in the grocery store parking lot who yelled at you or whatever, right? They're a mirror of something within you. You don't have to overthink it, but start seeing like, how are the things in my life just a mirror to me? How are they mirroring my level of self-worth? How are they mirroring my level of self-doubt? How are they mirroring my criticism of myself? How are they mirroring the fact that I'm not very forgiving of myself? How are they mirroring my, the fact that I take on a lot of people's burdens, or I let people, you know, push into me, right? How are they mirroring what actually is inside of you externally? Because we live in a mirrored reality. Everyone who is in your life, good and bad is mirroring something back to you at a deep energetic level. And sometimes that means, oh my gosh, I've been tolerating this kind of treatment from people. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I am allowing myself to tolerate that kind of treatment from people. Okay. Well then maybe I shouldn't be tolerating it at a deeper energetic level so that I no longer have to deal with that kind of dynamic in my external reality. So what is your reality mirroring back to you? That is a bonus question that you can start to break down and you can start asking yourself. 
you may have some aha moments, especially after watching this video, because some of you guys who watch my content, by the way, thank you so much for all of your messages um, saying that, you know, I've made a difference in your life, just even with my short content. I really, really appreciate it. It really makes me feel appreciative of you guys for watching. So anyway, guys, um, remember to hit that like and uh, comment below if you want to see more videos so that I can upload more content for you guys. And again, if you'd like more information on how to work together, you can click the link below. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take care.